We saw the impact last week in the gorge. Multiple landslides, the biggest you can see from Sky 8, coming down a few miles west of Cascade Locks across Old Historic Highway 30 and over onto I-84, forcing ODOT to temporarily shut down the interstate. Further north near Seattle, more slides, these along I-5. It is very, very major. And, Scott uh, Burns is a uh, geology uh, professor at Portland State uh, University. Yeah. Over the years, he's tracked hundreds of landslides across the metro area. He even tracks slides happening globally. And he says many are the result of one specific weather event. You know, periodically we get these incredible uh, rainfall events, but we're seeing more and more of, more of them. And we are calling them atmospheric rivers. Atmospheric rivers are very long bands of water vapor in the atmosphere that act like a pipe in the sky, transporting huge amounts of water that drop as intense rainfall. All of the models uh, that relate to uh, show that the climate is warming. And with warming, you're seeing more, more evaporation of water from the oceans. Uh, and more water vapor in the atmosphere. The result of so much rain in such a short amount of time, not only more, but bigger and more destructive landslides. We're seeing uh, an increase in the number of landslides and the sizes and the people killed. Uh, just as last week in Pakistan, we had 20 people killed uh, and um, by a, a very, very large landslide. Byrne says worldwide, the frequency of deadly landslides has greatly increased over the last 30 years. He says recently, it's gotten worse. The number of people dying from landslides in the last six months has been incredible worldwide. Byrne says while we can't avoid these atmospheric rivers, we can help prevent at least some slides. As homeowners, we need to make sure our water collection systems are working, our gutters are doing what they're supposed to, and make sure water doesn't overflow on to and saturate the slope below. Because while we can't control Mother Nature, we can prepare for the more extreme weather that's to come.